Hi, it's Una here again, and this time I'm going to bring you to another of our favourite places, and it's called West Bay. Enjoy the travel show. Welcome to the Customs House. It says antiques, vintage, retro and curiosities. In the olden days, we would call it a junkyard. Now, there's only two entrances, uh, and if you can't find them, don't be scared. Go ask the local sill guy, Jin. You know I'm partial to a little hat. As this is an old warehouse, there are steps everywhere, so I'm afraid it is not accessible for the disabled. Hogwarts, Nogwarts. Ah, wine, now you're talking. I don't fancy that now in the 3.30. If it all gets too much, you can always head to the bar. It's not a bad place to while away a few hours. If you need ideas for presents for loved ones, this is a great place to go and have a wee shop. Everything's the right price, as in, it's cheap. No, Tony, you cannot have that as another bar in the lounge. The reason West Bay Harbour was built was so that we could export the rope and the nets that were made down the road there in Bridport, all over the world. This is the harbour entrance. Harbour has a lovely old fashioned feel. We have been here before, and it was a very windy day. And the time we got home and had a look, the photos were beautiful. Go back again, but we're showing you West Bay at a final cut and still agree. Hence my change of clothes. Enjoy! Okay, Tony, away you go. Where are you? Last time we were here, you couldn't, you couldn't get on the beach for love and money because they had these huge, gigantic monstrosities of machinery making the beach safe from floods for us. But we promised you we'd be back. Here we are. This is the old salt house. 
This is where they store the salt to take on boats that went fishing in Newfoundland. Once the fish were caught, the salt was used to keep them fresh as the boat sailed down the coast to America where they sold the fish. And by the size of this building, there must have been an awful lot of ships set sail from here. Now there's nothing nicer than when rowed down the river. There's a lovely new cafe just opened up as well. I'm going to bring you down to the beach today, but it's all closed because there's serious uh, work, construction work going on here to make the place safer for all of us. Uh, but the good news is the beach will be open and everything will be open come the summer school holidays. So uh, get yourselves down here with your bucket and spade. Tony, go show them some clips. There's some clips to the clips there. Now, while the cliffs are as good as ever, I'm afraid the beaches are... Well, just look at them. You know they call this the Jurassic Coast, and on days like this, it's not hard to imagine. Mechanical dinosaurs. All they need is a song to dance to. It's hard to believe that all the work that went on here when we were here last, it's all gone. Out with the digger and in with the bucket and spade. At least they left the cliffs alone. Now, sorry, but time for my soapbox. If you do come down to West Bay, please don't sit below the cliffs, however inviting they are. Sadly, people have died because we do have cliff falls here and it's very dangerous. And if you don't believe me, take a look to the right hand side of the picture here and you'll see some cliff foliage. Plenty of fish and chip shops, cafes, restaurants to choose from to eat here. When you do get your fish and chips, especially, you got to be very careful where you put them down because if you put them down here beside it, those seagulls are going to come and just take them all away from you. This is Rachel's, one of my favourite places to come and eat here. My advice would be to come to West Bay of a Monday to Thursday and then you can sit back and relax at a slower pace and you can get very busy here at the weekend, uh, which is great, full of bikers and lots of other things, uh, but if you want to chill and relax, I come here during the week.
you've always got to be aware of him or then. And if you recognize this, you're a Broadchurch fan. A lovely interesting kooky place you can come to at night to have a meal is the station kitchen. It's set in a lovely old railway carriage and it's nice and cosy for an evening meal. And if I'm being very brave, I might even try a cocktail. You can also go and eat in the lovely old station. Once again, Broadchurch fans, it's the police station. We've been down West Bay all day today, uh, but we wanted to bring you here to Hidden Gem, favourite haunt of ours. It's called the Down House Farm Cafe here in East Dorset, outside Bridport. To get here, you have to be a very adventurous person and a very good driver, uh, because if you do meet oncoming traffic, you have to be able to reverse about 200 miles. Not my kind of thing, to be honest. Uh, no. Uh, and another reason, of course, is, of course, the food is to die for. It's uh, all organic. This place has been organic before the term was even thought of. It's fabulous. So we come down here for the beautiful Dorset cream tea. Funny this, we're far better at eating <laughs> rather than cooking. This really is a hidden gem for those of you who like to walk along the coast. If it's raining, there's even a little bit of sheltered area for you. Well, it was lovely to come back to West Bay and to see it at its finest. So, from sunny West Bay, goodbye. Thanks for watching until the end and here's a few more links for you to enjoy. See you somewhere down the road.